So I am here in my spare room and I have just nothing but boxes here. This is a storage place. And I, over the weekend, I was doing some cleaning, not spring cleaning. That's what I should be doing. That's what I made a decision to do. I am so sick of having this Elvis Ross around my neck. You know, all these things that we collect over time that just becomes like a noose. That's why the Zoomers and the Millennials are saying, eh, we don't want to buy a house. We don't want to get married. We don't want to have kids. We don't want to collect anything. We don't want anything. Give us a couple sticks of Ikea furniture and we're good to go. So I can kind of relate to that because, you know, I don't know at what point I decided that I was right. a maximalist. I, you know, there's the maximalist now and the minimalist. Well, you know, that's just an old fashioned way of saying either yeah. you collect stuff or you don't. You live starkly or you just decide over 35 years or so that you're just going to collect all this stuff. Now, it's not even intentional. Some of it is. I mean, I do collect some things like rare books, manuscripts, rare photographic plates, militaria, things that have served me well over the years that I have purchased and I've sold and I've made a lot of money at. Okay, those things, those things are okay. But then as you go through life, things change. You start to do different things. So I'm at the point now where I need to get rid of nice. things, right? I'm getting older. Um, my daughter's going to be left with all this. So if I die tomorrow, no big deal. She, she's going to have to deal with it, right? So all I have to tell her today is, hey, make sure you look through everything because in all of my collection, there just may be one thing that's really valuable. So that way she'll go through everything and thoughtfully get rid of it. But for now, I know what I want to get rid of. And I, it's not like these little articles about, oh, oh, let's declutter your home. Just go to your closet. You know, decide what pieces of furniture you have. It's the decision to get rid of it is not a big deal. I'm deciding to get rid of it. It's where, who's going to want it? Where do you put it? Where, where does it go? Do you load it up and take it to Goodwill? Do you sell it on eBay? And that, let me tell you, is a job. So, and, and they take their cut, 10 to, you know, it's 10 to 15% to sell on eBay. You know, you got shipping, you've got, you've got, you've got issues with eBay. Believe me, I've been selling on eBay since 1999 and I know it's a job. It's a real job. So it takes time to sell things piece by piece. No, I've got so much. I have connexes, boxes full of things. My husband's been in business for 40 years in the construction business. So we have tools, we have heavy equipment. I have hundreds of cans of paint. I have furniture. I have, uh, I have, you know, it's not just like I have a couple of bras in my drawer, a couple of girdles. I have a lot of things to get rid of. So I've made the decision and I've been kind of talking to my husband about it. He's thrilled. He wants to get rid of things, but he wants to sell every little tiny thing. I said, honey, no mm. one's going to want to buy this. You know, this, you know, you open a drawer and you go, yeah. where are that? hell did this come from and why do I have it? Whose decision was it to save this? And what you think might be valuable? They say, you know, one man's junk is another one's treasure. That could be true. I could have a yard sale, but you know what happens at a yard sale. You put all the stuff out there and you pray that somebody just buys it all, every last thing, but no, no, no. What happens is you do all that work, you price it, people come in, they cherry pick, and, and they and they they deal with you and they what you have five dollars on ends up going for 50 cents because you're on the last day of the sale and then you're left with bringing all back in or taking it all to goodwill it's a lot of work so this is a big big deal getting rid of things so but so and but I am going to do it that's what I've decided to do whether I have to make a spreadsheet <laughs> which will be hundreds of pages long. I am not that kind of person that just has a few things. No, I've got lots of things. Not that my house is cluttered. It is not. But it is stored in all sorts of places. Not just this house, but other, other places. Yeah. So I want you to come along with me on this journey. And I'm going to start with all these boxes right here. See these boxes right here? All of these boxes. These have really cool things in them. Yeah. Like, uh, I'll show you some Civil War related material. Yeah. 
I, I, I mean, I have some pretty cool stuff. So stay tuned. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and turn on that notification bell because I, eh, this is going to be fun. I don't know what I'm going to do. Thanks for watching.